Himiko, Queen of the Yamatai, circa 183 to 248 CE. Sorcery, witchcraft, and magic. Such were the dark powers ascribed to the ancient Japanese ruler Himiko, who presided over the Yamatai realm and neighboring principalities in the 3rd century CE. Much of what is known about her and her kingdom comes from early Chinese historical accounts, specifically the Ho Han Shu and the Wei Zi a section of larger document that contains information from Chinese envoys on the people and kingdoms of early Japan. The histories describe Himiko as an unmarried shaman queen who practiced magic and sorcery and ruled over the powerful kingdom of Yamatai and nearly 30 other chiefdoms. Portrayed as a mysterious and reclusive figure, Himiko came to power after a decades-long period of war and strife under a male ruler. She was rarely seen and lived inside a closely guarded palace with many female servants and just one man. Her younger brother aided her in ruling the kingdom. Himiko engaged in diplomacy with the Chinese Wei Kingdom. In return, Himiko received official recognition of her position as Queen of Japan, as well as gifts of brocade, silks and wools, gold, swords, pearls, cinnabar, and bronze mirrors. Historians report that Himiko died around the age of 65 and was buried in a large tomb with a sacrifice of a hundred slaves. A period of mass instability followed her death. A male ruler briefly tried to reign, but he was rejected outright by the people. And finally, a female relative of Humiko's, a 13-year-old girl named Eo, ascended to the throne and was accepted by the populace. The End Story from All Hail the Queen, 20 Women Who Ruled, by Jennifer Orkin Lewis, written by Shweta Jha, performed by Jennifer Joy, with music arranged from Apple Loops, and the video arranged from Internet Pictures. Thanks to everyone for their contributions, and I hope you enjoyed this compilation. Be well and enjoy. Bye for now.